What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the brand new ECD Rebel Offense and Rebel Defensive Heads. Very good stuff. Let's go. So the, the guys at ECD sent me these a uh, couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I don't know. It was a while ago and I've just been so busy with work that I haven't been able to do anything. Alright, so first we're going to talk about the the Rebel. I mean, the Rebel offensive head. So we strung this one up right away. Uh, initially, I put a, a new pattern in it that I thought was awesome. Uh, my kid did not dig it. He likes quite a bit of whip. Um, that probably didn't have enough whip. Um, had a lot of hold. But anyway, it just threw differently for him, and he didn't like it. So what I did instead is I took the pattern from his Mirage and put it in this. So if you guys have a Mirage pattern that you like and using uh, ECD Hero 2.0 mesh, you can put it in the Rebel and it will be almost exactly the same. The face shape, the head is, is different, but it works. That pattern translates well from the Mirage to the Rebel. So that's a good thing. He is using this in practice. This is the, the Rebel with ECD Hero 2 Striker, black and white Striker on an ECD Carbon Pro. He's using this for about 25% of practice. What he's doing is slowly transitioning to this because he absolutely loves his Mirage. Um, and we switched, the, he had the, the Carbon Pro on this, but we switched it for the Burn LT, uh, the Warrior Burn LT, which is a nice shaft. I'll do another video on that. Um, so we put the Carbon Pro here. So he'll, he'll play with this for about, and at least the last week, last week was like the first official week of practices. He's using this for about 75%, slowly transitioning to this. Um, loves both, but he's kind of a creature of habit. I think I've mentioned that a hundred times before on the channel. Um, but this thing, so this head is awesome. I was a big fan of the Mirage, still am. And I know a lot of people didn't like it. You know, I think the Mirage was, as a first offering, you know, amazing, right? But more than that, I think it's a quality head. Um, you know, I never had a problem with it. It does seem to, the ones we've had, we've had two, seem to warp a little bit. Um, the first one, my kid had a white one. Oh, that's weird. That top string got loose. That's gross. Uh, he had a white one and it, um, he faced off with it a few times and it kind of warped from that. This one, I don't know if you can tell, I've straightened it. He's you know, doing that a lot to straighten it up. But uh, it's just kind of getting a little bit of a, a gangster lean for no apparent reason. I'm not sure if it's stringing. doesn't feel like it's overly tight. It's not pulling unnecessarily. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But my kid loves the Mirage. Uh, I never really used it. So, you know, I'm just going by his assessment. But the Rebel is better. I mean, it's... This is a good head. I don't. I haven't watched a lot of reviews on it. Actually, I haven't watched any reviews on it, so I'm curious to see what other people think. Uh, but I will be shocked if people don't like this head. This thing is awesome. They made really nice adjustments. You know, some of the differences are you know, the pinch and the flare are lower in the Rebel. Um, you know, I think it's designed for like a mid high to mid low right in there, um, but the face shape is absolutely awesome. And I wish, if I had this in white, it would probably show up better. That shows up all right, I think. I can't really see. Um, it's just a fantastic looking head. The scoop is rounded a little more, uh, really great for ground balls. You know, it just feels good. It's, uh, I love the String King heads for ground balls. I love the String King heads, period. You know, they're, they're some of my favorites. Great for ground balls. This is this is as good of a scoop for ground balls, which is great. You know that's it's an important part of the game. Um, it's I think it's stiffer than the Mirage, not by a whole lot, but you know it just feels good. They removed one um, sidewall strut down here. Still got that V V structure on the side. Uh, some interesting cutaways in here on the scoop. Nice big 
top string holes, you know, big uh, rectangular top string holes. The sidewall holes are oval. Uh, the top two are elongated. Uh, top three, I'm sorry. You can double, triple. Uh, you could double in each one of these sidewall holes if you needed. The back rail has this kind of textured crosshatch um, texture, grip on it, and I'm guessing that's for locking the um, locking your knots in, you know, so you don't get any kind of knot shift on your stringing, which is cool. Uh, it's not overly pronounced. I don't, it's not going to hurt your strings at all, but it's, I think it's definitely give kind of gives some hold, some purchase for your strings. I like that idea. This is a huge step forward. The two uh, two screw holes, two screws in the back of the head. The Mirage, if, if my kid had one complaint, it's the wobble. Uh, right now he actually has no screw because we just threw it on this burn LT. Um, but he's got a piece of tape here going across um, side to side on the, on the handle. But then he's also got a bit of shooting string going front to back across the top and then the, um, and then the head on top of that. Uh, even when he had a screw in, he would tape it up because he, he can't stand the, the head wobble and there was quite a bit uh, on the Carbon Pro, even on the, um, on the Burn LT, the head wants to move. And the fact that they put, you know, they kinda, the new industry standard is that the two screws, so I'm really glad that ECD jumped on that. You know, it's just gonna lock this head in even better. Um, the throat, Still has that X X design across the throat, but what they did is they, uh, instead of having the cutaway crab logo, they used a jewel. It's a nice looking jewel. Uh, I think it's metal. Yeah, it's a little piece of metal with um, the crab on there. Ball stop is similar in material to the Mirage. Kind of like that mirrored uh, vinyl sticker. Looks looks really nice fits the head really well the um, there's a little more shape inside to the uh, the sidewall struts like they have a little more uh, like another extra facet so it's not so sharp like this um, I don't know if you can see but you know these hard lines in here are, are pretty sharp on the inside uh, these have an extra angle you know I don't know what the purpose is it might just be aesthetic, but it's nice. You know, it's definitely nice. It, it gives it a, a more polished, finished look. And I mean, this definitely looks like a, a a real polished head. And this did to me too. But after seeing the the Rebel, it's it's way more polished, way more finished than the Mirage. Um, it's got on the side rails, top rails. It's got the uh, the facet about 50-50 through the middle of this rail, um, which, you know, if you get a ball dead center, and we've seen this principle in other heads, dead center, uh, it's going to channel it inward into the pocket, whereas the, the Mirage, it's, there's one hard line here, nothing angling inward, but, you know, the, the rest of it is angling outward, so a 50-50 ball on the rail I think is more likely to, to miss the head completely or just fall out or ricochet off I should say. Um, so they've, I don't know if they did that on purpose but this is definitely, uh, it makes more sense. The logic is there, you know, the, in theory I think this will definitely channel balls inward more. Like I said, great scoop, uh, just an overall fantastic head. This thing is going to sell a lot and it should because it is quality. This Mirage pattern is my own. Uh, it's not the one that I initially did in the Mirage, my first Mirage video, that pattern didn't end up panning out. I was like, why didn't I even put that in the video? That's not a good pattern. But uh, whatever this is, you know, it's nothing overly complicated. It's got a stacked SI, and a bunch of SIs, some KSIs. It's a, it's a nice pattern, works really well. It works better in this head. All right, so that's the ECD Rebel offense. The defense, I did not take off the stand yet. We haven't strung it up. It is just super high quality. It's just just the, uh, the fit and the finish on this thing is beautiful, just like the, the offense. 
where this is 4.7 ounces, this is 5.6 ounces, you know, in line with a with a, a beefy defensive head, but I swear this thing feels stiffer than just about every other defensive head. <laughs> this thing, I mean, just holding it, I can imagine getting checked with it, and it is a monster, which is great. But the cool thing about it is it's not, it's got a relatively tight face shape. It's not overly wide. You could absolutely be a two-way midi with this. I know that it's designed for close defense and, and LSMs, but if you were a, a short stick D midi or a two-way two -way midi, this thing would work. You know, if you aren't quite happy with the uh, offensive heads that are a little too flexy, and you want to get some little sting on your checks, you could use this thing. Um, definitely, I mean, 100% LSMs and close, but I think this has a place on more parts of the field than just that. Uh, what's interesting is it's got a texture as well, uh, more texture, actually, kind of um, under here, under the top rail, certain places kind of halfway up down on the bottom third, uh, but it's not that crosshatch. It's more like a um, like a faux stone stucco texture, which is interesting. Even on the back rail, you know, to lock your knots in, uh, same, same principle as this. Of course, this one has the crosshatch. This one has that different sort of just bumpy, rough concrete stucco kind of texture. You know, interesting, interesting that they're different. Uh, both are made in the USA. Of course, this one has embossed Rebel defense on the back. This one has embossed Rebel offense. Um, you know, Greg, being a head dyer, I think you probably won't ever find a head with anything right there, which I appreciate. It's it's one of my biggest peeves in lacrosse is uh, this awesome head that comes out, and it's got this big old thing right here that just prevents you from doing any kind of dye right there because that's the sweet spot, you know. That and the throat. All heads will come with a with a ball stop, not necessarily out of necessity. You know, nobody's really catching here, or the ball stop's not doing anything. It's for branding, and I get that. If you want to do a die there, you can easily take it off. Uh, but here, you know, that's the best spot to die something, whether a logo, a number. You know, if you're doing a word across, you need this spot. So, companies that have that cutaway or any kind of textured thing of their logo or whatever that's a bummer and I, I think companies need to stop doing that the percentage of people who buy lacrosse heads uh, who also die it's probably not uh, you know it's probably the minority but still it is a pain and I think they could increase their business by not putting stuff there so I appreciate it Greg knows he's a dyer he knows don't put anything right there um, you know the texture elsewhere it's cool you know uh, it'll probably prevent some people from doing some things, but you know where this has the that um, gravelly texture. You know this side of the rail is smooth, so you can you can do dies here. Uh, one thing that's inter interesting, it still has the same uh, V strut configuration, missing this from the Mirage, but they've reinforced these Vs with this little section here, um, so the the bottom. You know the angle right in here is filled in with a with a piece of plastic, and it just I mean it adds to the stiffness. It's going to add to the longevity of the head. You know probably won't fold and warp over time. You know even with just punishing checks. Um, both heads come in black and white. I don't know if there's plans for the marble or other colors. You know black and white is really all you need. Uh, I do like the gray on this this is the gray marble the marble doesn't show up too much especially now that it's dirty but you know, gray is a great color for a lacrosse head i think um, but to start you know a white and a black that's going to cover most of your bases uh, this is really a nice looking stick with the the black carbon pro the black and white striker with the black head white shooters i think it's just you know white tape that's a great looking stick right there um, my kid loves it, you know, I mean, he loves the look. He's still getting used to it. He'll get there. Uh, also, they sent uh, this new piece of uh, Joe Walter's signature mesh, 
which I would have liked to put in this. I think that would have looked really nice, but he wanted the white. All right, guys, so I think that's it. Um, they are 89 bucks. Both of them are 89 bucks, which I believe is what the Mirage was. You can get them strung by ECD, like um, I'm probably with Hero 2. Uh, really probably a fantastic stringing. I think that'll run you 130. Um, which to me, you know, learn how to string, save a few bucks. But if you, you know, 130 is no problem for you. You get one of these strung by them. It's going to be pretty amazing. I think that's a, a safe bet. So anyway, guys, go check it out. This thing is, this thing is for real. Fantastic, fantastic heads. I love the improvements they made and you know, this is going to be a winner for them. Um, I'm excited to see what they do next. You know, I know that that's got to be frustrating for a company. You know, you come out with something amazing and old dumbasses like me are like, well, I wonder what they'll do next. It's like, come on, let us enjoy this one. But yes, this one is unreal. Very, very good. Super impressed. Nice job, ECD. Thank you for sending these over. They will get a lot of use. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Go check out ECD and the Rebel offensive and defensive heads. Great stuff. I will see you next video.